Bonjour and welcome to a new unboxing video and I have tons of things to show you today it's one of those mega homes of Mego figures and there's going to be quite a few different things because there's Wave 14 which uh, which we've already spoken about but there's plenty of new figures for Wave 14 then there is some variants that are uh, basically running changes for existing figures which are also quite interesting to show you and then there is a special packaging that is done in the US for Walmart so we've got plenty plenty of things to show you and I'm extremely excited as usual so without further ado we're going to start by the uh, the actual uh, variants uh, we're not going to open everything because otherwise it would take about an hour to do the video uh, so I'm going to show you the the variant first, uh, which are running changes, all of them, uh, because there were some things that weren't quite right in the first release, or they were f they had forgotten an accessory or something like that, or they changed the costume. There's plenty of little things like that that can make a, a running changes a running change. Sorry, the first one is for the Hammer Van Helsing, which is already out. I mean, it was out with Wave 13 a few months back. I already showed you that figure. Uh, in fact, it's right behind me here as you can see and uh, basically the only thing they've changed is the accessories uh, it used to be with a stake and now instead of a stake you do have the two candelabras that allows him in the movie if you remember the Dracula movie he actually uses the two candelabra to do a cross to defeat Dracula so that's the only change but it's interesting because you should be able to find both versions in the shop uh, i think that in the uk for the moment it's the one with the steak and in the us it's the one with the candelabra so always check the uh, uh what you have depending if you want the variant or not so that's one of the variants and then we do have both a new figure and a variant uh, which is actually the Creature of the Black Lagoon and the Creature of the Black Lagoon is now in glorious black and white which is absolutely fantastic so same thing we've already reviewed the uh, uh, Creature of the Black Lagoon they've already done two variants there was a lighter green and a darker green version and now we do have the uh, uh, black and white version which I, I think is kind of fun I mean I will get back to the creature of the black lagoon because there's something else in this video about it uh, I'm going very quickly on those because they are figures that you've already seen the third one that's very interesting is Dr. McCoy uh, I, I'm not quite sure if it shows on uh, on this but uh, when they first released Dr. McCoy uh, the skin tone was way too light it was it was almost cadaveric because it was so light and they've released um, uh, a corrected version which was temporary with a painted uh, face and now they've released a new version it still looks a bit pale but it's probably still, the, the light here actually makes it look more yellow than uh, anything else but believe me it is a lot darker uh, than it was before still a bit light so you can check uh, there, there would be a, a slightly darker skin tone of Dr. McCoy after the problem they had on the first one so uh, but yeah it, it, looking at it it's still a very uh, very light even though it's not as white as it used to be so that's the three variants uh, that we've had to show you so far uh, so now we're going to go for the wave 14 and we'll finish with the special edition for walmart so with wave 14 we are continuing wave 14 because we've already had uh the spot from the cage we've already had the new kirk with the new head sculpt we've had the creature of frankenstein from the hammer um and we already had also the ultraman jack uh figure so that's the four ones you've already seen in one previous video and now we do have a justice league version movie version of superman so the henry cavill uh figure so i i think the the uh, the uh likeness is actually pretty good i'm i'm not entirely convinced by the costume but that's always the thing with uh clothes uh, uh with real cloth costumes uh for uh, action figure they don't always translate 
fantastically but uh, uh, it's a very nice uh, figure all the same we do have uh, oh let's open it uh, yeah let's let's do that I mean oh sorry I, I forgot the warning about people who like stuff mint in package so uh, actually that's interesting to have him out of the pack because I do believe that some mega figures so here you go you do see the uh, new likeness which is very much Henry Cavill I mean I, I suppose that people will say no it's not really him but I mean you know Migo Migo is not always about the full and complete likeness but an adaptation of the likeness of the actor which I think works very well he's got his decorated boots here which are based on the regular boots costume and cape and uh, actually I do believe that once he is outside of his package it looks a lot better than in uh, the package that's something you will notice quite often with Migo figures and other figures actually that they uh, the way they are packed it doesn't always show off the figure in, in the best way so we do have a another Star Trek it's Star Trek the next generation Jordi Laforge um, and I do believe I've got one open here so that this way we won't have to open it. This one is for a friend of mine. Uh, I've already opened mine because I couldn't wait. So here you go. Here is Jordi Lefort. It's a very, very good uh, figure, I find, with the uh, plastic uh, uh, comb badge. And he's got his little uh, phaser. Very good uh, uh, figure. You can't remove the uh, visor in case you were wondering. Uh, I really, really love it. I think it's a very cool uh, and I, I, I figure and I can't wait to have the rest of the Star Trek The Next Generation crew. So basically, just to show him again in the uh, in his package, you've got, of course, a picture of him in the back, as they always do. Uh, very cool figure now out everywhere. And we're going to get there. <laughs> then we go to the monsters and we do have the invisible man from universal monster and that's a very cool figure so you do have the uh, uh picture on the back as usual and we do have in all his glory we're going to rip it out of his uh package as well because i can't uh resist that and of course we need to see one important thing so here is the skull as you can see it's a very very interesting figure i i really like it and of course what's interesting is that he's got a clear body so uh, i'm sure that if we open all of his costume which we can but i'm not going to do that right now the full uh, body is is clear yes it, it, it the feet are clear as well I really love it. I think it's a fantastic looking figure. Uh, very, very cool. It's, it, it, it's one of those, I, I mean, all of their Universal figures have been really fantastic so far. So I'm glad they are continuing. And in fact, we do have the next one is another Universal monster because it's the mole people. I mean, look at this lovely face. I mean, it's a fantastic uh, character. You do have the uh, 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 um, the poster, the movie poster in the back. Uh, it's really, really cool. We're going to open it anyway because we want to see him in all his glory. Oh, and you will notice so he does have new specific hands which will, of course, allow him to, to dig through the soil and he's got a very, very cool uh, look and look at it. I absolutely adore that sculpt I mean it's it's a really great looking monster anyway in the movie and I think it works so well in uh, in Migo form and last for wave 14 uh, we do have another horror character but modern horror character which is the nun so that's really <laughs> I mean, you 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 all know the the Conjuring universe uh, movies, and you know who the nun is. I mean, the movie is not really that great, but the character is so fantastic. And you will find this figure with two seemingly with two different heads. Don't don't buy two. You don't need to buy two because 
as you will see once I've opened it, the figure has actually the two head. Because so here is the figure in all its glory. But if you remove the and you turn around, basically you've got the uh, regular face as well. So that's actually an interesting twist that they've done a double sided version of uh, the head and you just twist the head around and she is ready to scare you so that's actually a very very cool way of doing it as you can see you do get the two faces here and uh, it's it's really uh, I'm just looking at her she's absolutely fantastic uh, that is a great figure once again I think it's a figure that looks even better once it's out of its packaging so very very cool that's that's it for way 14 well not quite because there's more figures but I'm going to show them to you in their new packaging because Migo has done some exclusive packaging for Walmart at least for the moment they are exclusive to Walmart in the US so you can't get them anywhere else or unless you want to pay some silly money online on, on eBay and literally what they've done is they've released them in boxes so you do have the creature of the black lagoon the black and white version in its lovely lovely box you do have another wave 14 figure that i don't have carded which is the toxic avenger and uh, i mean you can't really see that I, I can't open those because those are for a friend of mine um but the, he does have his broom and the, the extremity of the broom is apparently glow in the dark. So that's the Toxic Avenger. So Toxic Avenger is also available uh, carded. I mean, all of those are available carded or in boxes. But as I said, in boxes at the moment, they are just exclusive to Walmart. So not that easy to find. You don't have to have another example or two to show you like basically the uh, invisible man i didn't show you the back of the toxic avenger but um i think they are very cool and the mall man uh so that's the version that i've got with me there's actually more than that there is the reptile from hammer which will have a variant dress but it's not out yet you do have one of the clowns for killer clown uh, I think you do have the It uh, Pennywise uh, figure. I'm um, just trying to remember who else there is, but there's actually quite a few. I think there's eight or eight or ten of those, and they also are doing some twin packs. And I, I haven't gotten many twin packs. I only got one of them because uh, so this is what the twin packs look like in the back, and because I want to do the reveal. And this is. Uh, basically it's the young Frankenstein twin pack uh, what's interesting is in fact those are carded figures uh, inside the box so you open the box you can get the carded figures out if you want there is a metallic coin uh, for Migo which I'm told will serve a purpose at some point so uh, I don't know what but that's basically the rumor the creature uh, the Frankenstein creature in this is the same one as the one released in Wave 14 because he's also out in Wave 14 on its own. But the Dr. Frankenstein uh, has is for the moment exclusive to this release because the one we've got uh, doesn't have the same costume. So, so we don't. Uh, um, you can't find it outside of this box at the moment. Uh, if you see online. Uh, on eBay for example on its own it's because they've actually opened the pack and, and are selling it separately but it's at the moment only available in this box set so there's a few boxes that there is a, a hammer one uh, I think there is a universal monster one I may be wrong uh, I can't remember what else that there. I think there's four packs all in all and those are really really cool and I, I hope that uh, those are being released elsewhere than in Walmart so 
here you go uh, and then, as i said it's a big mega hole of mego with all kind of surprises so between the um running changes oh i sure i forgot one running change uh, bear with me for a second there is actually a very important running change which is general ursus from the planet of the apes uh, which has a new tunic it's a different tunic from the one we've been seeing uh, uh, before because they actually found that this one was closer to the one in the movie and of course you do have the uh, uh, planet of the ape uh, warrior uh which soldier sorry which has actually two variant uh i'm just wondering i'm sure i've got one somewhere please hold on a second i knew i had forgotten one that's the last wave 14 figure which is the uh ape soldier uh from planet of the ape i'm not opening it because once again it's for a friend of mine and they've done it with a black bandolier and a brown bandolier so you can actually mix and match your soldiers if you want to do an army so here you go that is the last one of way 14 which i almost forgot i'm very very sorry as i said there's so many this time and uh i hope you enjoy all that if you've got any question please don't uh, hesitate to comment below and uh and i will speak to you again soon bye Thank you.